Hello, friends and adventurers. Many of you have uh, maybe wondered over the years. Since everything has already been invented, everything told, everything thought up. How does one make an original world for their setting, for their campaign, for their game, for their book? How do they make an original world that is completely original? yet completely meaningful without resorting to foolish gimmicks that everybody would call you out on as soon as they start reading or watching or playing or anything of the above. So there is a solution. There is not everything has been actually yet said, drawn, suggested or thought of. So how do we find it? Well, it takes two simple things. First thing is experience. You need to experience lots of the media in question. Whether it's games, books, uh, role-playing settings, you need lots, hundreds, multiple hundreds needed. And you need, ideally, to get around 200 plus good ones. You know, legendary ones. The ones you're proud of to have known. Now that's a lot of experience because, as we all know, 90% of everything is bad. So um, does that mean you need to know 2000 settings at the drop of your hat? Well, by selective consumption, maybe you could get away with uh, half as much or even quarter as much. But yes. After a while, experience is the king. And then, 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 here's the trick. Think to yourself, what is that one thing that I really, really always wanted for all these years and decades, but there never ever really was. And the difference is drastic enough that it creates for a new setting. It can be even several things. It can even be several small things, but the world building, if you practice good world building, will now give you a completely original world because nobody has done this before. After all, you looked and you looked and you looked and you looked and you just couldn't find this one thing that intrigued you, that you wanted for once somebody to make and for you to explore, for you to watch, for you to read, for you to immerse yourself in and see the consequences, the actions, the abilities, the possibilities. Now, don't shy away from things that uh, seem, you know, strange to people. What you should shy away from is them not being logical and uh, valid and uh, worthwhile in your world. You should always make it worthwhile because science has shown us that uh, humans like things that end well. I don't mean happy ending. I mean things that end on a high note, as in you know, movie was mostly boring, but it had a fantastic plot twist at the end. Humans love that. Suffered through a lot of pain, but uh, got uh, to get what you wanted in the end. Humans love it. Trudged through a blizzard, but uh, got to your movie on time. People love it. Whatever it is that feels that it concluded worth something to the viewer, to the observer, that's what you want. So if you can explain it in such a way that it feels worthwhile to have been seen, learned, happened in the world, don't forget, not just to the observer, many make that mistake. Many people, many artists, many creators make that mistake. Do not just make something that is worthwhile to the observer, because observer is not that easily tricked. They think it's cheap, they think it's flawed, it's like people saying amnesia is a cheap uh, plot device. It's not necessarily, but in the right level of laziness it is. So don't be lazy and make it worthwhile in the world. In your world, it should be worthwhile. Not just to the observer, but also certainly to the observer, because if it's worthwhile in the world, but not worth to watch, then it isn't worth to watch or play. And so, when you find one such thing, or several such things, that create for a new world setting and that fulfill all these conditions, then you have done it. You have created something original. You have been blessed with originality, and now it will never leave you again. 
that is the trick. Not as long of a thing, really. Not as hard of a thing, really, to learn. But it does take a bit to get to the experience required. Luckily, most of us, especially here, especially now, are that are either me talking this or you watching this, are into fantasy and similar realms of imagination. So you probably sought after many of these resources by yourselves already. So you're probably already nearly done with the practice and now you can go and be as original as you want to be. So adventure, if you thought this was useful or unique, maybe you can spare me a click and I could give you such new advice nearly every week because I make myself just for you. I'm M and welcome to the M table. See you next time.